Candidates are expected to have a thorough understanding of the syllabus details outlined in the accompanying figure. Electric charge. Objects can be given one of two types of electric charge, positive and negative. When two charged objects are brought close together, there will be a force between those objects. Like charges repel. Unlike charges attract. Electric charge is measured in units called coulombs. Where charges come from? Everything is made of tiny called atoms. They have electric charges inside them. A simple model of the atom is shown on the diagram. There is a central nucleus made up of protons and neutrons. Protons have a positive charge. Neutrons have no charge. Much lighter electrons are orbiting around a nucleus. Electrons have a negative charge. Atoms have equal numbers of electrons and protons. So the net charge is zero. This is called the neutral atom. When the atoms lost the electrons, so the number of electrons less than the number of protons. And the net charge is a positive. This is called a positive ion atom. When the atoms gain the electrons, so the number of electrons more than the number of protons. And the net charge is a negative. This is called a negative ion atom. Electric fields. Electric field is the region around an electric charge where another charge experiences a force. This can be shown by electric field lines. Fields lines always point away from positive charges towards negative charges. The direction of the field lines in an electric field is the direction of the force on a positive charge. The strength of an electric field increases where the field lines are close together. The strength of an electric field decreases where the field lines are far apart. The field lines cannot cross together. Electric field patterns of two opposite charged points. Electric field patterns of two same charged points. This is the neutral point, which is the point that has no electric field due to charges. Uniform electric fields patterns of two parallel opposite charges. The field lines are parallel and same space between each line. This shows that the strength of an electric field is constant. Electric field patterns of a changed conducting sphere. The field lines around a charge conducting sphere are symmetrical, as with a point charge. This is because the charges on the surface of the sphere will be evenly distributed. Conductors and insulators. A conductor is a material that allows charge, usually electrons, to flow through it easily, this is because it has free-moving electrons. Conductors tend to be metals. For example of the material that order from best conductor to the poorest conductor, as shown on the diagram. Metals conduct electricity very well because current is the rate of flow of charged particles. So, the more easily electrons are able to flow, the better the conductor. In a metal, there are the free-moving electrons that escape from the outer shell of metal atoms. These electrons are delocalized, they are free to move throughout the structure. This is positively ion atoms. An insulator is a material that does not allow the flow of charge through them very easily, this is because it has no free-moving electrons. For example of insulators are rubber, plastic, glass, and wood. Some nonmetals, such as graphite, allow some charge to pass through them, so the graphite is conductor. Charging an insulator by rubbing. When polythene rod is rubbed with a woolen cloth, the friction causes the electrons transfer from the wool to the polythene. This causes the woolen cloth to become a positive charge, and the polythene to become a negative charge. Charging a conductor by induction. This is a neutral metal sphere. This is an insulating stand that prevents the negative charges from transferring between the metal and the earth. Place a negatively charged rod nearby the top of metal. The negative charges in the metal are repelled and move away to the bottom of the metal sphere. 
Connect an earth wire to the metal sphere. Negative charges from the metal travel to the earth. Remove the earth wire first, then remove the negative. The metal sphere is left with a positive charge. If we change a negative rod to a positive rod, place a positively charged rod nearby the top of metal. The negative charges in the metal are attracted and move towards the positive rod. Connect an earth wire to the metal sphere. Negative charges from the earth travel to the metal to neutralize the positive charges. Remove the earth wire first, then remove the positive rod. The metal sphere is left with a negative charge. Electrostatic charges. A comb attracts your hair when you are brushing because the friction causes negative charges to transfer between the comb and your hair. The comb and hair become oppositely charged, which is why they are attracted together. A negatively charged balloon attracts the positive charges in the stream of water. The stream of water bends toward the balloon because the attractive force between unlike charges is greater than the repulsive force between like charges. A negatively charged balloon strikes a wall because it repels the negative charges in the atoms on the wall. This causes the negative charges on the wall to move away the balloon. The attractive force between unlike charges is greater than the repulsive force between like charges, which is why the balloon sticks to the wall. Lightning during the thunderstorm. The attractive force between the bottom of the clouds and the positive charges at the ground causes negative charges to travel from the cloud to the ground. This creates an electric current. The electrical energy is transferred to light, heat, and sound energies. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would be grateful if you would subscribe, share, like and leave a positive comment. Your support will encourage me to create more content. Thank you.